Yo YouTube, Darlene here on Point and Click, and this is <laughs> Steph is here too. Yes, Steph is here too. And so where we left off last time was part one, and now we're on part two. Yeah, we just got into Xanth, and now we've kind of got free reign yes. to do what we want and not have to wait around for things to happen. Exactly. So here we are with Nada, and she was telling us that we're going to remain a screen as long as we don't believe in the power of love and magic. I mean, in the fact that Xanth is real. So- I feel like magic has something to do with that. I don't know about love, I think that might be you. But magic definitely. So there you go. And so, we're here on the path that stretch stretches north towards a small bridge. We're just gonna follow that path and see where it leads. <laughs> and we also have Oliver here, so he might give us some commentary again. We got red fruit, we got fireflies and buttercups. You pretty much need one of everything that's on this screen right now. Exact, except for the tree and this log jam. You we will log. need the log from the log jam. You pull on the log with all your might, but it is firmly lodged within the log jam. It's going to take some heavy tool to pry it loose. Which we're, we will get shortly. We're going to have to come back to that. But we could put the crossroads on the red fruit, but I think we'll just not do that. We'll get some red fruit instead. So we're going to get the buttercups. You lean over and pluck a single sticky buttercup from the patch. And yeah, the guess, buttercup. Yeah, guess what's in the buttercup? It's butter! <laughs> So we take the butter out of the buttercup. And this little known fact is that you can catch fireflies with buttercups. You whip the buttercup back and forth through the swarm for a few seconds and catch a single bug within it. It becomes stuck within the sticky flower, unable to escape. Eight points. Oh yeah. So we're moving on. Moving forward into the abyss. You're standing in a dark, misty forest. A lone firefly buzzes from tree to tree. Nada watches you. That's a bit creepy. Though. Let's look at the spring. So you look into the pool and see a hazy image of bodies moving about. You kneel down and study the image carefully. You recognize Kim, Jenny Elf, and Sammy Cat approaching the shoreline. Jenny Elf, there in the water. What is that? It is a merman, Kim. Don't pay any attention to him. Let's keep moving. No, I want to talk to him. Just a pushy brat. But it will take too much time. I'm sure we're ahead of Doug. Don't you want to win the prize? Sure, but this will only take a few minutes. Look, he's getting out of the water. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kim. I'm from Londania. This is Jenny Elf and Sammy Cat. What's your name? Are you really a merman? Do you live in the water? What happened to your tail? You can play the merman, otherwise it's going to be a long Whoa, time. slow down. My name is Cyrus. <laughs> yes, I'm a merman, and yes, I live in the water. But changing my tail into legs is my special talent. It's kind of painful, but I can change back any time I want to. If it hurts, then why do you do it? It's time for me to seek out a wife, but there are no eligible merwomen in this part of the water wing. The two of you looked like adventurers out on a journey, so I thought I would ask if I can walk along with you until I can find a suitable merwoman to marry. That sounds like fun! Let's get going! <laughs> yeah, let's get going! And while we walk, you can tell me what it's like to live in the water! Do you have both lungs and gills? Do you eat fish? Do you sleep on a waterbed? Kim seems to be quite a competent, mundane duck. If I were you, I'd be a little worried if you really want to win the hit. Sorry, I just stole your part there. I thought, no, it's okay. And Jenny Elf looks like a pretty competent companion. Shots fired. Oh, yeah. She seems alright, but I believe you won't find me lacking in any important way as your companion. Where would you say that they are right now? Isn't that you? Are we from, switching oh, back now? Oh, sorry. From the looks, <laughs> from the looks of the geography, I'd say that was near the outskirts of the water wing. Is that far from here? Yes, Doug. 
very far. She sounds so patronizing. Yeah. She's like, very As if to say, you far. suck right now. So Tangle Pick Tree. I think the Tangle Tree was in Harry Potter, wasn't it? That's the Whomping Willow. Oh, okay. When you look at it. Moving on. Yeah. Just like in the books. Move, just like in the books. So there you go. But not the Harry Potter books. The Xanth books. You're standing at the center of a small village. Nada studies you. The butter has begun to melt. So yeah, this is a time thing. As time moves on, that butter is probably going to melt and be gone. So we'll have to get some more butter later if we need any. So yeah, we're... there's some lamb covers here. We're going to need them for later. And the rock. We'll need the rock for later. Talk to the headman. Hello, mundane screen and beautiful Naga princess. I am a woodwright by trade and have appointed, been appointed headman of the Isthmus village. Please state your business here. I'll bet I can stand on my head longer than you. That's because your head is flatter than mine, screen. I cannot accept your wager, flat top. Woodwright, huh? How about you give me some wood right now? That's not the way it works, screen. You bring me the wood and I make it right. Tell me what's happening around these parts, Headman. The town has many problems. Our worst is the dread ship that lies at anchor in our harbor. Tell me more, Headman. The ship is a censor ship. It censors what we say. Incense rising from censors aboard the vessel pervades the town, censoring and incensing us. That's a bleep of bleep. Wow, it really is a censor ship. Will you help us rid ourselves of this bleep municipal malady? Yes, I guess. But how can you can how, how can I do it if you cannot? None of us in the village have been able to find a way beyond the pale that lies northeast of here. Only there can the solution be found. We hope you can do as we cannot. Take this strange rusty key as a sign of our gratitude, wandering screen. What solution? The fair enough dwells beyond the pale and can supply you with the solution, which is with which to douse the foul sensors aboard the ship. What do you think is the solution to the bleeping ship, Headman? <laughs> the solution to douse the evil sensors is only available from the fair enough. Where can I find this fair enough? The fair enough dwells beyond the pale and can supply you the solution. Now we're repeating. <laughs> Thank you for your advice. Thank you for your advice, Headman. I bid you farewell. Let's roll it. Mm. Roll out. So good luck. Go forth into the beyond. And we now have the strange skeleton key. Which I think could possibly work with this gate. <laughs> On this strange rusty gate. <laughs> so you slowly turn it, an audible click is heard, and you remove it. Just like any rusty gate you yeah, put a key just in. Just like any key ever. <laughs> so I'm gonna... Oh. I missed the description there, but you get the idea. We're it's on us. a we're on a pier. <laughs> yep, and it's also good uh, for you know, in this game anyway, to talk to your companion as often as possible. Because if you find yourself stuck, usually if you talk to them, there's something that they need to do. Yeah. Or there's a really good hint. Exactly. Or nudge, nudge. But the thing is, when you're, you have to generally take them in the place where you're really stuck. Because if you don't, then. They might not say what you need them to say or do what you need them to do. Yep, so keep that in mind. So you pull on the rope length, but are unable to free it from the plank it's tied to. Something heavy is weighing it down. So I don't know if we've told you already, but Nada is a Naga. I think we have already. I don't know. A Naga is like a half human, half serpent. Exactly. And so from the waist down, she's very snake like. Except when she's human like. <laughs> exactly. So she can change form to be half snake and half human, or just human. So at the moment she's in her human form, but if we talk to her, we can be like, What's this rope doing here? I wonder why this rope is tied here, Nada. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. I'm not sure, dog. Do you want me to crawl under the pier to find out? No, I'm not interested in that rope at all. Never mind. <laughs> Go to it, princess. I only wish I could slither down there with you. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be there in a jiffy. Let's go up there with moist. <laughs> moist as well. Slither and moist. <laughs> so I'm just gonna slither down there with you. Okay, I found this anchor tied to the end of the rope you noticed. Perhaps you'll find these things useful in your quest for the prize. 
Thanks, I'm sure I will. I didn't realize your Naga form would turn out to be so useful. I'm certain this won't be the only time I come in handy, young mundane. Now please turn away so that I may return to my human form and get dressed. Okay, I'm not looking much. Nope, not peeking He's at totally all. totally peeking. We know He's it. He's a teenage boy. He's peeking. Yeah. It's alright, I'm already dressed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, has that down to an art. So eight points we get for that. I think it's an arbitrary point system. Yo YouTube! <laughs> Thanks for watching part two of uh, our Let's Play with Companions of Xanth. And that's where the Yo YouTube comes from, so now you know. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'd really appreciate any support that you do have, so feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And or, you know, you don't have to like us if you don't want to. I mean, that's okay too. We're honest. You should be honest too. And But, you know, <laughs> it's good to comment also and let us know how we can do better so that you can like us. That would be nice. <laughs> Which is why we didn't have one of these videos in the first one. Learning curve. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we hope to do one of these a week. Maybe if we've got some time off. Two a week? <laughs> Two a week, maybe, if we can fit it in. Maybe. maybe. So in the meantime, keep watching. If you have any questions about the game so far, or anything that we may have missed that you want to point out, please let us know. Or if you want to ask about her bangs, or my bangs, <laughs> then, uh, you know. <laughs> this is getting into a whole other branch of YouTube right now. All right. <laughs> um, we will see you in the next one. And yep. thanks for watching. Thank you. Keep smiling.